In this series of short videos, we will be introducing you to the Military Aviation Preservation Society, or MAPS, Air Museum, and some of the aircraft and displays that are located at our facility in Green, Ohio. We hope that these presentations enhance your appreciation of history and those that lived it. Man's fascination with flight and a desire to fly has always been with us. A quote attributed to Leonardo da Vinci gives you only one view of this obsession. It reads, once you have tasted flight, you will forever walk the earth with your eyes turned skyward. For there you have been, and there you will always long to return. At MAPS, the history of aviation is more than just airplanes. It is about those who have dreamed of flying, those who ultimately made those dreams a reality, and those that have experienced the freedom of flight. We hope to share that more with you in these video presentations. We hope to cover the general background of each type of aircraft, as well as the history of the actual airframe that we have here at the museum. In some cases, we have dedicated specific aircraft to local men and women. If this is the case, we will discuss why we decided to dedicate the aircraft to them. In this video, we will be introducing you to one of the aircraft in our collection that has a connection to Ohio and Ohio aviation history, the Republic F-84F Thunderstreak. The F-84 was originally designed and built as a straight-winged fighter, nicknamed the Thunderjet, by Republic Aviation Corporation in Farmingdale, New York. Republic also produced the F-105 Thunderchief. A sample of this aircraft is also included in our collection. As with many aircraft that have multiple versions, the F-84 nomenclature can be somewhat confusing. The straight wing F-84A to F-84E and F-84G models were called the Thunderjets. External differences between these models is often difficult to identify, but changes in engine technology and avionics corrected some of the aircraft's initial shortcomings. Although it entered service in 1947, the Thunderjet had so many structural and engine problems that a 1948 U.S. Air Force review declared it unable to execute any aspect of its intended mission and considered canceling the program. The aircraft was not considered fully operational until the 1949 F-84D model, and the Thunderjet design only came into its own with the F-84G introduced in 1951. In 1954, the straight-wing Thunderjet was joined by the swept-wing F-84F Thunderstreak. While subsequent versions of the Thunderjet represented an evolutionary development of the straight-wing concept, the F-84F was a new design. The Republic F-84F Thunderstreak was an American-built swept-wing turbojet fighter-bomber. The F-84 designation was retained because the fighter was expected to be a low-cost improvement of the straight-wing Thunderjet, with over 55% commonality in tooling. In the spring of 1955, the United States Air Force demonstration team, the Thunderbirds, started flying the swept-wing F-84F Thunderstreak aircraft. During this season, they performed 91 air shows. The Thunderbirds aircraft were again changed in June of 1956 to the F-100C Super Sabre, which gave the team supersonic capability. A second F-84F prototype was completed. This one modified with intakes located in the wing route. These were not adopted for the fighter version due to loss of thrust. However, this modified arrangement permitted placement of cameras in the nose. 
the design was adopted as the RF-84F Thunderflash photo reconnaissance version of the F-84F. The first RF-84F was completed in February of 1952. The aircraft retained an armament of four machine guns and could carry up to 15 cameras. Innovations included computerized controls, which adjusted camera settings for light, speed, and altitude, a periscope to give the pilot better visualization of the target, and a voice recorder to let the pilot narrate his observations. Two F-84Fs were converted into experimental aircraft. Each was fitted with an Allison turboprop engine driving a supersonic propeller. Ground crews dubbed the XF-84H the Thunder Screech due to his extreme noise level. The test program did not proceed further than the manufacturer's Phase I proving flights. Consequently, no United States Air Force test pilots flew the XF-84H. When the concept was not picked up by any of the services, the XF-84H prototypes became pure research aircraft built for the Air Force's propeller laboratory at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base to test supersonic propellers and exploring the combination of propeller responsiveness at jet speeds. Ongoing engine failures resulted the entire fleet being grounded in early 1955. Also, the J-65 engine continued to suffer from flameouts when flying through heavy rain or snow. As a result of the problems, the active duty phase-out began almost as soon as the F-84F entered service in 1954 and was completed by 1958. The aircraft were then transferred to National Guard units. The F-84F Thunderstreak was retired from service with the Air National Guard in 1964 and replaced by the North American F-100 Super Sabre. The RF-84F Thunder Flash was replaced by the RF-101 Voodoo in active duty Air Force units and assigned to duty with the Air National Guard. The last RF-84F Thunder Flash was retired from the Air National Guard in 1971. The airframe that is on display at the MAPS Air Museum is a Republic F-84F Thunderstreak. In developing the histories of the aircraft located at the MAPS Air Museum, all available resources are researched and compiled. While most of the source materials are in agreement, some of the information obtained from various sources are inconsistent with the majority of the other data. If this is the case, the information that is presented represents the facts as presented by official sources whenever possible. The F-84 that is part of the MAPS aircraft collection was manufactured by Republic Aviation in Farmingdale, New York and delivered to the United States Air Force on September 10, 1954 with serial number 52-6524. Its initial assignment was to the 12th Strategic Fighter Wing of the Strategic Air Command, or SAC, at Bergstrom Air Force Base, Texas. The mission of the 12th Fighter Wing was to provide fighter escort and local air defense for the SAC bomber forces stationed at Bergstrom and other locations in southwest United States. In October of 1954, 52-6524 was reassigned to the 27th Strategic Fighter Wing, also located at Bergstrom. On May 7, 1955, the unit was deployed to the Royal Air Force Base at Sturgate in the United Kingdom. In 1953, RAF Sturgate was allocated for use to the United States Air Force Strategic Air Command. That deployment ended on August 17, 1955. On 29 June 1955, Air Force accident records show that three F-84F aircraft stationed at RAF Sturgate were involved in an incident. One of those aircraft was 52-6524, then piloted by Clark Manning. While there are no official reports of that accident available, the damage to the airframe must have been significant 
as it spent the next year in maintenance and support units. When a 27th Strategic Fighter Wing was rotated back to Bergstrom in August, 52-6524 remained behind and was transferred to the 3928th Air Base Group of the Strategic Air Command, which was also at RAF Sturgate. In September of that same year, the aircraft was reallocated to the 7559th Maintenance Group, which was part of the United States Air Force's Europe, and moved to RAF Burtonwood. Upon movement back to the Continental United States, or CONUS, in January of 1956, 52-6524 was assigned to the Mobile Air Material Area at Brookley Air Force Base in Alabama. The Mobile Air Material Area and its predecessor unit, the Air Material Command, was the Air Force's Modification and Repair Center. In June of 1956, the aircraft was returned to Republic Aviation in Farmingdale, New York for upgrades and refitting. Those modifications and final upgrades took 18 months to complete. In January of 1958, the F-84F was assigned to the Ohio Air National Guard with the 162nd Tactical Fighter Squadron Special Delivery at the Springfield Municipal Airport in Ohio. The special delivery designation reflected a dual mission for which the squadron was tasked, the day interceptor mission of the Air Defense Command and a tactical nuclear weapon delivery mission by the Tactical Air Command. Increased tensions in Germany associated with the construction of the Berlin Wall in 1961 resulted in the reactivation of the F-84F fleet from Air National Guard units. The 162nd was placed on alert on 1 October 1961 and called to extended active duty with the 15th Tactical Fighter Wing of the Tactical Air Command located at McDill Air Force Base in Tampa, Florida. The entire wing was initially equipped with the Republic F-84F Thunderstreak that were obtained from activated Air National Guard units. The situation eased and the 162nd spent the majority of his extended active duty participating in various training exercises for flight and ground crews. The unit was released from active duty on August 20, 1962 and returned to Springfield and the control of the Ohio National Guard. In July of 1964, the aircraft traveled to its last assignment with the 164th Tactical Fighter Squadron of the Ohio Air National Guard near Mansfield, Ohio. Like the 162nd, the 164th Tactical Fighter Squadron had been called to active duty. After the Berlin federalization ended, the 164th was authorized to expand to group level and the 179th Tactical Fighter Group was established by the National Guard Bureau. The 164th Tactical Fighter Squadron became the group's flying squadron. It was with the 164th that 526524 would cross paths with two servicemen who would later play a key role in the ultimate restoration of the aircraft. MAPS member and one of the organization's 14 founding members, Paul Gates, headed the restoration effort and worked on F-84s with the 164th prior to the arrival of 526524 in July of 1964. One of the pilots that flew that aircraft and worked on the restoration effort was MAPS member and retired Brigadier General Ray Weber. Ray flew 526524 on six different occasions between November 29, 1969 and December 30, 1971 for a total of 22 flight hours. In February of 1972, the squadron retired its thunderstreaks and converted to the F-100 Super Sabre as a result of the American drawdown from the Vietnam War. 52-6524 was dropped from the Air Force inventory in May of 1972 as surplus to needs. 
the F-84F serial number 52-6524 was purchased by Walter Saplata of Newberry, Ohio and placed in what became known as the Saplata Airplane Sanctuary and probably saved from the scrapyard. In 2009, the Republic F-84F Thunderstreak was donated to MAPS. Recovery of this airframe was started in November of 2009. Recovery of the F-84F took a period of four months due to the location and condition of the aircraft and of the various components. To move it from its location in the airplane sanctuary required the disassembly of the major components movement to locations where they could be placed on wheeled carts, and ultimately movement to locations where they could be loaded on vehicles for transport to MAPS. A majority of the major components arrived at MAPS on March 28, 2010. That started a period of restoration that took over six years of dedicated work to put the segments of the aircraft into a condition that were ready for assembly. All major components of the aircraft required significant cleaning and restoration. Some of the parts that were either missing or beyond the capability of restoring had to be built from scratch. In the summer of 2016, all of the components were ready for assembly. After a six-year restoration effort, the aircraft was ready for the next step in its restoration. On August 16, 2016, the major components were ready for reassembly and moved to the main hangar. Over the next weeks, the major components were assembled and the aircraft placed on its landing gear for the first time in almost 40 years. Over the next six months, the aircraft restoration was finished and it was painted as it was when assigned to the Ohio Air National Guard. The names of Brigadier General Raymond Weber and Staff Sergeant Paul Gates are prominently displayed on the aircraft. The aircraft was dedicated on November 11, 2016. Among the dignitaries in attendance was astronaut Fred Hayes. Hayes flew as the lunar module pilots on the aborted Apollo 13 lunar mission in 1970 and command piloted the Space Shuttle Enterprise in free flight to three successful landings after being released from the shuttle carrier aircraft. From September of 1959 to March of 1963, Hayes served as an F-84F Thunderstreak pilot with the 164th Fighter Squadron of the Ohio Air National Guard. The F-84F Thunderstreak serves as a proud reminder of this generation of American jet technology. Its service career spanned almost 20 years of aviation history, from the end of the Korean conflict, into the Cold War, and up to the end of the war in Vietnam. F-84F serial number 52-6524 is a physical reminder of those that served during those troubled times and protected the freedoms that we all still enjoy today.